by Dasha Litvinova Associated Press Tallinn, Estonia, it took Vsevelid four days to drive from Moscow to Russia's southern border with Georgia. He had to abandon his car at one point and continue on foot. On Tuesday, he finally finished his 1, 800-kilometer, 1, 100-mile, journey and crossed the frontier to escape being called up to fight in Russia's war in Ukraine. At 26, I do not want to be carried home in a zinc line, coffin, or staying, my, hands with somebody's blood because of the war of one per. He was one of over 194 Russian nationals who have fled to neighboring Georgia, Kazakhstan and Finland, most often by car, bicycle or on foot, in the week since President Vladimir Putin announced a partial mobilization of reservists. The mass exodus of men, alone or with their families or friends, began September 21, shortly after Putin's address to the nation, and continued all this week. Early on, they snapped up airline tickets, which spiked in price on the few airlines still flying out of Russia. But the rest had to gas up their cars and join the long lines snaking on roads toward the borders. According to the online service Yandex Maps, the traffic jam leading to Vertney Lars, a border crossing into Georgia from Russia's North Ossetia region, stretched for about 15 kilometers, over 9 miles, on Tuesday. Social media showed hundreds of pedestrians lining up at the checkpoint after Russian border guards relaxed regulations and allowed people to cross on foot. Similarly long queues were reported at some crossings into Kazakhstan. The Interior Ministry of Georgia said over 53,000 Russians have entered the country since last week, while Interior Ministry officials in Kazakhstan said 98,000 crossed into that nation. The Finnish Border Guard Agency said over 43,000 arrived in the same period. Media reports also said another 3,000 Russians entered Mongolia, which also shares a border with the country. Russian authorities sought to stem the flow, barring some men from leaving and citing mobilization laws. The practice did not seem widespread, but rumors persisted that Moscow may soon shut the borders to all men of fighting age. Police in North Ossetia said a makeshift enlistment office will be set up at the Vertny Lars crossing, and local officials confirmed to the state news agency TASS that Russian men are being served call-up summonses at crossings into Georgia. Russia's defense minister Sergei Shuiku has said that only about 300 men with prior combat or other military service would be mustered, but reports have emerged from various Russian regions that recruiters were rounding up men outside that description. That fueled fears of a much broader call-up, sending droves of men of all ages and backgrounds to airports and borders, 